In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together some basic code for your steady hand game. So in the steady hand game, you're going to be using the crocodile clips to detect inputs in either pin zero, one or two. Um, there's another video that I've created that shows the hardware. So it shows the micro bit and where to place the clips. Um, but the logic I'll go over here. So what you're going to need to do is detect when a pin is activated. So we're going to use this block here when pin zero is pressed. So I'm going to use this pin zero here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, if the pin is pressed, then well, what would I like to do? Well, I'd like to try and either count down from three, three, two, one, zero, or maybe count up to three, um, depending on how you want to deal with lives. So I'm going to do um, lives. This is how many lives the player gets. And at the start of the program, I'm going to set the number of lives the, 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 the player has to zero. If the pin is pressed, and this is going to run forever, if the pin is pressed, I'm going to remove one from the lives. So if I start my lives off at three, what I can do is I can display, um, so I can remove one from uh, lives. So I can change lives by minus one. Okay. So the logic there is if the wand touches the, um, the steady hand game, that's obviously bad. So it would reduce the lives from three to two. Now, I would like to show the user that. So I'm going to have um, an X to indicate that it's detected and um, it's reduced it by one. Um, I might also afterwards show the actual score. So show lives like that. So um, I believe we can test it over here. So if I... Um, Actually, one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to display the lives at the start of the game. So I'm going to say um, show number lives like that. Okay, so over here, I've got my test area. So it says three to start with. So just as a bit of a test, if I do this, it says X2, X1, X0. However, this will let me go to minus one and so on. And we don't want that to happen. We want it to be game over. So what I can introduce is a loop to say while the lives are greater than zero. And you'll see what happens here in a second. So whilst the lives are greater than zero, then keep checking. So if I move this if block into the while, and this, it's, it's what's known as a loop, I can say, well, whilst the lives are greater than zero, then keep checking. And then once the lives get to zero, obviously it's game over. So we can display a little message at the bottom to say um, game over. And maybe have, is there a skull and crossbones or something like that to indicate that uh yeah there we go so let's test that now and see if that will work so i start with three lives let's just update this start with three lives um two one zero game over so there's a basic setup now in the other video, I'll show you some code similar to that, working with the hardware and the steady hand game. But I think that's a nice um, point pointer or a nice push in the right direction for your game. Now, obviously, there's other things that we can do. You might want to change the number of lives that you start with, or maybe you'd like to add some sound. So you might want to add some sound when, um, when the player hits the... Um, the cable or the, the the wire so hopefully this video helps and um, i look forward to seeing what you can come up with in class